Hello and welcome to the Daily Digestion channel and welcome back to another video. So this this video is uh, going to be a question video that I'm making for Mrs. Lucky. Mrs. Lucky, I like your uh, name and that's a loaded question and her question was what do I suggest for GERD? Now you guys know that I am not a doctor and I am not a somebody who's you know can even suggest stuff like that on YouTube because you'll get knocked off for stuff like that um but I can share my own personal experience of what I did for when I had GERD and um and for those of you who don't know that's gas reflux which is basically indigestion and which my channel is all about the daily digestion so uh first of all i have tons of videos on this and um and basically it's uh you know i used to struggle with it a lot all the way back back in the days of um of uh college actually and uh it's it's always been a serious issue come on guys this way this way jet macy um i'm walking my dogs on this beautiful day it's gorgeous outside guys check it out Woo! beautiful day we got the dogs. Say hi, Jet. 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 Say hello. Say hello, Jet. This is Mia. I'm babysitting for Mia. She's a great dog. I hope you can see that. Say hi, Mia. Say hi. She's a good girl. And I got two strays running into the neighbor's yard to, uh, defecate wonderful uh yeah hopefully he's he's a great sport <laughs> but anyway uh, what i wanted to say was uh, what i wanted to say about that about the gird thing it's that's a loaded question i mean it truly is like there are so many things that can cause that um your environment can cause it your um the food you're eating may cause it what you're thinking may cause it um guys possibilities are endless so what you want to do is you want to start at square one uh which is what i had to do like i struggled with it for a long time um and one of the things that i mean there's several keys that worked for me several keys and uh, the biggest biggest key like they all stand out to me is getting um, you know don't eat in a stressful environment number one find a safe quiet place to eat if you have to avoid certain family members hey it's better than dying from malnutrition because you can't digest in a stress state. It is physiologically impossible. Because there's this thing called fight or flight. And we've all learned about that in school. And when it switches on, your digestion switches off. So if you're around that angry, hostile person, you're not going to be digesting your food very well. If you're like one of these people that's angry and resentful too with them. So you just, you got to get away. I'm just using that for an example. Uh, negative, any negative energy can cause that. Um, so look at the sky. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful day. They called, they said it was going to be cloudy all day. That's not what I call cloudy. That's what I call partly cloudy. And they got it wrong and I'm okay with that 
But if I'd have planned my whole day around the weather channel, I would have been thoroughly disappointed. Um, so what I want to say is, uh, so there, there's a lot of keys. Watch all my videos. Like, oh my gosh, like I have so many videos that will help you on your healing journey. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's a good key. Uh, second key is start the daily juicing habit if you can. Um, it will change your life. Eat all organic. Orga Non-organic foods cause indigestion. They have pesticides in them that actually lock up the digestion tract. Most people don't even know that. So avoid processed foods. They're basically poison. They put those oils on those th on on the on the fo foods that basically are designed genetically modified to make the food have a longer shelf life. So therefore, you're eating food that was designed to stay longer on the shelf and it stays a lot longer in your gut, which causes indigestion, which causes gas reflux, which causes GERD. Okay, so um, yeah, there's a lot to this, but stress is, stress is a big one. It really is. Stress is a huge uh, killer in America. And you know, so eliminating the stress, meditation, Number one, meditation. Start the daily meditation habit. First thing when you get up in the morning. That is critical, critical, critical. I have a devotional set aside to God first thing in the morning. And things will go even better. Now, um, so I think I've given you some really good keys to help you start out. Like it's a process. It took me years to get to the bottom of my issues, like years and years and years. I literally had to have a bicycle wreck and prolapse my intestines before I could figure it out. Like, I know that's ridiculous, right? But hey, it is what it is. And um, that's what happened. And um, trying to find some good lighting. Lighting makes all the difference in the world if you're trying to make videos. So guys, if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, make sure you got some good lighting because and it, it's just face the light is what you want to do when you're making your videos. Because if you don't, it's going to show like creases in your face and yeah, make you look ugly. <laughs> but um, so but you can't always do that like when you're walking the dogs. So um, what I want to say about that is um, so the GERD, you know, is an issue. It's, it's very, it's very common thing in this country. Everybody struggles with it. Don't eat out at fast food restaurants. Oh my God, that's a killer for sure. And, uh, but yeah, so if you have any more questions, leave them down below. Um, also, if you would like to contact me, um, my email is uh, digestioniskey at uh, gmail.com. If you, if you would like to have a, oh gosh, if you would like some personal counseling, um, you can contact me and, um, you know, that would be fine too. Um, I'm thinking about doing that part time, um, just to help people because I just feel so passionate about this. I really truly do. And, um, you know, it, it, it's just, uh, you know, everybody needs coaching. I just coached my daughter, um, to save herself like literally she was dying like no joke she was dying from uh candida she didn't know what it was she'd been to all the doctors all the doctors kept telling her the same thing you know you need this you need this medication try this medication it just made her worse they put her on antibiotics worst thing she could do for her 
candida. And then after that, she got better for a little while, but the candida came back 20 times worse because, hey, she wiped out all the beneficial bacteria in her gut. What, what else do you expect from that, you know? So, um, yeah, so she learned a valuable lesson. Then they put her on some, uh, some, some gas reflex medicine. They put her on a type of medicine. I'm not gonna say the name, um, but guys, and it wasn't the problem. She had candida and it was her eating habits. She was consuming a lot of alcohol and uh, caffeine and sugar. Not a lot of alcohol, but just enough to set the fire ablaze. So um, that being said, you know, you gotta be careful what you put into your body because your body is like a chemical factory. If you put the wrong chemicals in it, it's just gonna run wrong. It's gonna, it's gonna run wrong. And uh, so foods make chemicals, your thinking makes chemicals, and um, your life can make chemicals. So you have to be careful of the life you create, the thoughts you think, and uh, the people you let into your life. Like there's a whole maraud of things that you have to be careful about. But that being said, um, that being said, uh, if you have any more questions, I hope this helped you. And, oh, I just want to say, I actually did go on the, um, I did go on some medicine. They put me on medicine. I went to the doctor about it and it just got worse and that I knew then and I started juicing carrot juice. Carrot juice was what I started on and I started seeing the the uh, links to things that would work and things that weren't and I, for me at my age I just started eating carrots every day because you know that was easy. Peel a carrot, throw it in a bag, eat, a, eat that with my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I was like uh, 23 when it first started happening actually 18, 18, I did a research speech project on carrot juice, <laughs> imagine that, and uh, vegetable juice, plunge and apple juice, um, and the f a funny thing is, is I did another research project on vegetable dyes, oh my gosh, that's so funny, so like juicing has been a part of my life, even all the way back in elementary school, I was in sixth grade. I just, that just dawned on me that I'm sharing that with you guys. That's really cool. So yeah, I did a science project back in uh, middle school. So that's kind of funny. And I made vegetable dyes out of carrot juice and beet juice and, and dyed cloth and like put it on my poster board. <laughs> and did a big project on it. That was fun. That was really fun. I love doing stuff like that. But um, but yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close on that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, like, share, and if you want to, um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Email me at digestioniskey at gmail.com. Okay, so I hope that I hear from you soon if you have any more questions. Thanks for watching. Bye!